Hi everybody, my name is Patrice and this is the first video that I am going to shoot for my new YouTube channel. Now, I have been a big YouTube fan all of 2020. I ain't gonna lie to you. Last year, I was like, ain't nobody got time to be watching videos of other people and what they doing in their lives. I got stuff going on. But when my grandchildren were interested in, you know, watching something on TV, first thing they say is, YouTube, Grandma, YouTube. And I'll be like, oh, my God. Y'all are seriously going to sit there and watch kids playing with toys instead of playing with toys yourself so I would let them because I don't try to be judging people and what they like but you know during the pandemic and you know quarantining and staying in the house and all that kind of stuff I started you know watching a few YouTube channels because I was really interested in traveling to Jamaica which is like somewhere I try to go at least once a year, two times if possible. And so I was watching the YouTube videos about, um, you know, how the paint, how the Corona was doing over there. I live in the U S it was doing way better. They were doing way better than we were. For the, they still are. Everybody's doing better than the United States, but I digress. So, you know, the more I watched news about what was going on there, the more I started seeing like little clips or um, thumbprints of other YouTube channels. I started watching them. Now I'm so hooked. I don't even hardly watch any other thing. I have to make myself like go to Netflix and watch some movies or a series or something. So I can just get out of YouTube zone for a minute. I'll tell you all that because I decided that I wanted to do a channel because I think that what I'm going to be, you know, offering will be of some interest to somebody. And if not, I'm documenting some things that are going to be going on in my life that may end up being a once in a lifetime thing. And I just really would love it to be documented, if not for me, for my kids and my grandchildren and future generations. So with that said to my family, this is for you. So let's start. Um, I thought I've been thinking, like I said, I've been thinking about doing a YouTube channel for a long time. My friend Teresa in California, who was originally from the East Coast, now she lives in California with her family. Um, I was like, girl, you have got to do a channel. So when you do your little traveling and stuff, we can see what's going on, you know, don't have to worry about, oh, the video's too big to to upload and all that. I could just go to your YouTube channel and watch what you're doing. So that was kind of like the defining moment for me when I said, you're right. So traveling during the pandemic, it's December 2020 right now. It's actually the 29th of December, I believe. And, or maybe it's the 20th, whatever. You lose track. But I am preparing for a trip of a lifetime. Something that I never thought I would do. And um, I'd like to chronicle it. This year in February, I visited Jamaica. And I was, I'm so in love with Jamaica. It's my happy place. But, um, and so when I came back, I immediately booked my next flight for June, July. And because um, Jamaica has so much restriction once you get there, and 
curfews and you know you can't move outside of your hotel once you get there even if you have a negative coronavirus test i decided you know what let me try for december maybe things will lighten up by december so i rebooked for december december same way same thing so i just said you know what let me just put that travel money aside but in the meantime I booked a flight to Ghana. And that's where this is all going to center around, at least to start with. Because if I am not exhausted by doing YouTube after my Ghana trip, I'll continue. Because I also have a passion for cooking. I would love to have you in my kitchen and, you know, have you watch some of my um, work. I have a lot of... Um, faithful customers. I have a personal chef business, which I kind of have put on hold during COVID because for the safety of my customers and for my just sound mind, I don't have to worry if somebody gets sick because I gave it to them. I just, I'm not feeling it right now, but I still love to cook. Um, so we'll do some cooking. Um, my grandchildren are here. They are absolute ridiculous energy and entertainment. So that'll be some fun stuff to watch them. And they will be so excited to be on YouTube. So I sound like this right now because I have a cold, I think. I will tell you, I've been really sick since... the 21st of December. And um, symptoms are so weird because it's not really bad cold symptoms, although there are some cold symptoms like congestion, a little bit of sneezing, but just a little bit of congestion and sneezing. Um, mostly it's been fatigue, like you will not believe. And also, um, what is it? Oh, a um, little bit of dizziness. Uh, anyway, I say all that to say. I'm going to have to have a COVID test because I don't know. I'm, I don't know what's going on. So I, I literally... <clears throat> I'm going to be leaving for Ghana February 9th. And I have to have a COVID, COVID test for that trip before I leave the United States. And when I arrive in Ghana at the airport, I will have to have a COVID test. Now, why am I going to Ghana? And I'm going by myself. So I got a lot of people who are like, you're crazy. What's wrong with you? You traveling during COVID and blah, 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 blah. So... I've been in this house since March. This is literally where I've been sitting since March. Oh, look. <laughs> so that's that's my little TV with the screensaver of my photos. But I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of it. I'm going to lose my mind if I don't get out of here. So, I have a long-distance relationship with a wonderful man um, named Della. And you're going to meet Della. Della has made this year bearable and pleasant. and worth every moment of my time spent video chatting with him and talking to him. Um, you're gonna fall in love with him too. And his family is amazing and welcoming. Ghanaians are some of the most 
hospitable and welcoming and non-judgmental people I've ever met to the point where it doesn't seem real. But I'm opening my American skeptic heart <laughs> to the possibility that there are people that don't want nothing from you. They're just good people. Because I know I'm a good person. I don't want nothing from nobody. But kindness, friendship, love, that kind of stuff. Respect. So, you know, it's really hard to trust when people are just good for no reason. Um, but I'm working on that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people that watch this channel are going to be very skeptical about me going to Ghana by myself, which people have been traveling internationally by themselves for, year, for years and years and years. Women too. Um, you take the necessary precautions and that that's one of the things that we're gonna um, do. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps of what it takes to even get your visa, do the travel arrangements. Right now, the travel cost is literally about half of what it would usually be. So that was my first motivating, well, my second motivating. Della is my first motivation to come. Um, my second motivation is the cost is amazing. And their um, handling of coronavirus, as I said, <laughs> with most places, are way under control compared to the United States where they may have 135 cases a day. And that's an uptick for them because it was much less than that. But now in the U.S., in Maryland alone, where I live, 1,000 a day. So I feel relatively um, good about... Um, you know, the protocol that is being required of me before I go. So everyone on that plane is going to have a um, certification from a reputable um, laboratory that they do not have COVID-19. Also, when I get there, they're going to ensure that, you know, that test um, didn't miss something because I'm, it's required 72 hours before I fly. Who knows who I've come in contact within those 72 hours. I may have gone to a party before I leave for Ghana and pick it up. And they're like, uh, you're not coming in here with no COVID. So at the airport, you can have a quick results test in 30 minutes. I'll have my results. If I'm Corona free, I'm free to roam Ghana and anywhere else um, I choose to go while I'm there. So I'm really excited about that. So Della and his family have some amazing adventures planned for us. I'm going to get um, uh, a GoPro so I can try to capture as much of it as possible. And um, I'm new to all of this. I don't even know if anybody's still listening at this point. But this is just <clears throat> my introductory video to tell you who is Patrice. Because that's what I'm going to call this channel. Who is Patrice? Um, I think that's what I'm going to call it. Because someone might know me. But hopefully by the time, you know, a couple of my videos come out and you hang in, have fun, and uh, watch my adventures, you'll know who Patrice is. So... I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. Um, I've lived in Maryland for seven years. And it's not my first time living in Maryland. If you are not familiar with um, the D.C. area, we refer to it as the DMV, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. And they're all so closely um, knit that we just call it one thing, DMV. So, um... 
if you live in Maryland, it's not it's not really um that far from DC. I think I'm probably six minutes from DC. And maybe I'm exaggerating, but about ten minutes from DC. And um it's all good. Anyway, all that to say um, I'm looking forward to doing my first video of how to even get started if you want to travel um, internationally. We're going to talk about the whole visa process. That was so much easier than I expected. You know, and that was another reason I um, did not want to go to Africa. I mean, I was like, Africa is impossible. I'm not going to Africa because first of all, it costs too much. Second, I heard getting a visa is so hard. I heard that from my Jamaican friends. But I realized, I think the difficulty comes with my Jamaican friends trying to come to the U.S. So with me going to another country, I didn't have any difficulty. I'm a federal employee and, um, have um, a clean record. Um, so maybe that has something to do with me getting my visa so quickly, but it literally came in less than two weeks and I was shocked. So um, anyway, with that I've been talking for almost 17 minutes now. And that's long enough. I don't want to have these videos to be too long because one thing I hate about a YouTube video is when I look at how long it is, sometimes I pass right by because I might want to know what they're doing, but I don't have an hour to dedicate to sitting and watching somebody's video. So I'm going to try to keep my videos at least 30 minutes. Um, but when I get into adventure and seeing Ghana, they may become a little longer. Or maybe I'll do them in parts that may be easier to swallow. But anyway, welcome again. I hope that you will subscribe to this channel and like up the video. Um, I don't know if I'm interested in monetizing um, these videos. If it happens, that'd be nice. But if it doesn't, again, this is just me chronicling my life and having something for my kids and grandkids to look at. So I'm not going to tell you how old I am um, because I just don't want to. I'm not. It's not like I'm not proud of it. But I'm going to see if at some point during these videos you kind of figure it out. <laughs> Let's leave something to the imagination. Um, I kind of gave it away with the grands and the gray, but just do not sleep on me because I am fun and adventurous. And when you see my happiness, Della, y'all gonna be like, Ooh, girl got it going on. So with that to say, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell. So you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And if you like what you see, share it with somebody. Thanks. Love you.